What is going on guys? Welcome to this Python tutorial series for data science. We're starting out with a new tutorial playlist with a new tutorial series. We finished the beginners playlist and we also finished the intermediate playlist and now we're getting into some real stuff here with data science. Uh, a lot of you guys have been waiting for this and now we're getting into it. And the first episode will be about setting up the environment. What do we need to work uh, or to to get into data science with Python and in this video we're going to talk about exactly that. Now the two things that we're going to install today are Anaconda, the data science platform, and PyCharm, the Python IDE for professionals. These two tools are going to make a lot of the things easier, but they're not necessary. So if you don't want to install them for whatever reason, you don't have to. You can also just use your uh, command line and the default Python IDE that we use all the time. So it's not uh, mandatory to install these two things. However, both of them are free and very, very helpful. So let us get started with Anaconda. Anaconda works not only with Python, but also with R, another uh, statistical data science programming language. So just download Anaconda for your Python version. We're working with Python 3. Uh, maybe when you're watching this in the future, it's a, already a newer version, but just choose your operating system uh, type or your system type 64-bit uh, usually, and then install the Anaconda version. When you download it, you'll find the installer wherever you don uh, downloaded it and I'm not going to go through the whole process because I've already installed Anaconda it's quite a long process but I'm going to show you what you need to do you need to click on next of course you need to click on I agree of course on uh, how many users you want to install it to uh, then you pick the path and what's important I'm not going to follow uh, I'm not going to continue the setup right now but what is important is that you add Anaconda to your path variable now the setup recommends not to do that, but I think it's kind of useful to do that because you can then use conda directly in the command line without using the anaconda prompt. But if you don't want to have it in your path variable for whatever reason, uh, you don't have to, but I think it's a useful thing to do. And of course, then you install PyCharm, you also download the installer. Uh, I'm also not going to go through the installation process here because it's not something that you need guidance for. You just download it, you just click through it, you choose your theme and that's it. And once you've installed these two tools, um, we're going to set up the Anaconda environment. So now that we've installed Anaconda and PyCharm, the next step is to create an Anaconda environment. And we do this by running the command line, so cmd on Windows, command prompt, and the terminal on Linux and Mac. And of course, this only works on Windows if you have added Anaconda to the path variable. Otherwise, you would have to use the Anaconda prompt, which is a command line only for Anaconda. But since we've added it to the path variable, we can use it in CMD as well. And the command for creating a new environment is conda uh, create minus minus name and now we have to specify a name for our environment. And I'm going to call mine Neural9. Uh, you can call it whatever you want. And then in the end, I'm going to specify a Python version. So I'm going to say Python equals 3.7. Then we click Enter. And in my case, it is probably going to say, no, it's not. OK, forget about it. Um, now we have to say proceed or not, and I'm going to say yes. It's going to install all of these different modules here. So the uh, Visual Studio Runtime, it is going to install pip, the package manager. It is going to install uh, OpenSSL, Python, all these tools here. And I'm just going to say yes. And I'm going to get back to you once the installation is finished. OK, actually, I wouldn't have to cut it because it took like five seconds or something. Uh, however, we're going to now activate our environment by saying conda activate activate neural 9 or whatever you named your environment and now we're in our environment and we can install all the external libraries we need. However, we can also use uh, pip, pip is the thing that we're going to use to install all these things, the package manager for external libraries. Uh, we can also use pip uh, without Anaconda. So if you choose for some reason to not use Anaconda, you can still use pip with your base Python version in the terminal and you can install all the libraries. However, the libraries that we're going to install for this tutorial series are NumPy, Matplotlib, and Pandas. These are the three main libraries for data science. Uh, and we might add some libraries in the future, in future videos, in uh, individual episodes. We might need uh, additional libraries. 
But for now, these are the three main libraries. So pip install numpy. And numpy is basically a library that allows us uh, to work with arrays, to work with multidimensional arrays, to process arrays effectively. Uh, maybe it is the basis for uh, linear algebra because it allows us to uh, work with vectors and matrices and so on. So numpy is very essential to the data science stack in Python. So I'm going to say pip install numpy and it's going to download numpy and install it. Also, NumPy is uh, the basis for Matplotlib and Pandas, so Matplotlib needs NumPy to work, so Matplotlib is based on NumPy, uh, and NumPy is like the bottom, the, the, the bottom level of data science in Python. So it should be done in a second. Yeah, the next library, of course, is Matplotlib. And Matplotlib is basically the library that we use for visualization. Whenever we have a, a chart, whenever we want to visualize a statistic or our data or a machine learning model, everything that needs to be plotted and visualized can be done with uh, Matplotlib. And this is one of the most powerful libraries in Python when it comes to data visualization. And last but not least, we're going to install Pandas. And Pandas is um, providing us a data structure called uh, DataFrame. And this data frame works a little bit like an Excel sheet. So it has tables, but not like necessarily like in a database, but more like in an Excel sheet uh, where we can filter our data, sort our data and load our data and export or import data. So it's a very important library for dealing with all of this data as well. So it should be done in a second. And then we're actually done with the installation of the libraries. And the next step is to now integrate this in PyCharm. So now what we need to do is we need to add Anaconda or our Anaconda environment to PyCharm. And to do that, we are going to create a new project here. Um, and then you have to specify a location for your project. And what you do here is you select the project interpreter. And instead of creating a new environment, you could also create a new Conda environment right here. Instead of doing that, you click on existing interpreter and you choose this or you click this button here. And then you choose an interpreter from uh, your computer. And we're going to choose a Conda environment. And it should automatically find the Conda executable. If not, here is the path. You just go to users, your user, Anaconda 3, scripts, Conda exa. This is the Conda executable. And then it automatically finds an interpreter. In my case, it's fi it finds the main environment because this is another Conda environment that I have already created in the past. Uh, if it does the same thing for you or it does not find your environment, you just go to C, Users, Your User, Anaconda 3, uh, Environments, and in here you find uh, the new environment, in my case Neural9, and you have to select the Python exe file, which is the interpreter, and then you just click on OK. But I'm not going to do that because I already have a project, so I'm going to open this project up and show you how to change the uh, interpreter, the Conda environment in an already uh, existing project. Now, if we have an existing project, what we need to do is we need to go to File, Settings, and then we go down to Project Python, Project Interpreter, and here we click on Add, if we don't have the Project Interpreter already here. Uh, and when we click on Add, this window here appears. And I add a Conda environment and do the same thing right here that we did in the creating. So in PyCharm itself, we can now write all of our code. We can say import NumPy. We can say import uh, Matplotlib. And as you can see, it has a lot of auto complete uh, or auto completion features. So, for example, NumPy dot, and it gives me all the different wait for it. it, gives me all the different things that I can do with NumPy. So it uh, suggests that I use different functions. It gives me data structures like, uh, where is it, ND array, uh, and or let's just type ND, and it gives me ND array. So it's very, very useful for a programmer. And also we have uh, refactoring tools, we have debugging tools. So PyCharm is a very nice IDE, and it's time to use something else than the default Python idle. So that's basically how you set up the data science environment for Python. From the next video on, we're going to focus on some real data science, some real tutorials, some real programming, 
Uh, we're going to start it with NumPy, we're going to continue with Matplotlib, with Pandas and so on. So it will be a very interesting series, a very um, exciting series to make and also to watch hopefully. And there's a lot to learn here, so keep watching the videos, stay tuned, uh, hit the like button if you like this video today, uh, feel free to ask any questions and give feedback in the comment section down below. Of course, subscribe to this channel if you want to see more, and thank you very much for watching, see you in the next video, bye.